So to bring an AI curve from Illustrator or SVG, make sure when you save the AI that it's a version 8 and not CS2 or 3. I don't have Illustrator installed here. Um, then you can bring the file. So this here is a one rag, but it was actually drawn in, um, in uh, AutoCAD first as a DWG and then uh, brought into Illustrator. So what you need to do here is go geometry freeze to convert this as polygon. You want faces. If you have holes, I don't. You turn that on and pick the axis. But the main thing is to uncheck subdivide and put 30 degree. And now the faces are on the back. So you could go polygon F to flip them. To make them 3D in polygon shift X, click and drag. So that'll make the one rack 3D. Q. And then if you want, we could select just those one and make them bevel them forward a bit. B. And move them a little bit more. Now, if we need to create a fillet, a bevel, we could do it with the bevel, but it'll be a bit heavy. So we can do it at rendering time. So if you go M, give the shader a name, one rack. We can now go F8, and look at the rendering, click here to see uh, which shader it is. And here on the bottom, we could add, so start low, maybe 5 mm. And this should do, so you can tell it's a very tiny one rack. So in my case, it'll be maybe even 0.5 mm. Voila, and now we get a nice little bevel at rendering time. So that's the Illustrator import.